In this video, we're going to be doing some more water drop macro photography, but this time we're going to be using a mobile phone. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. Now, I've been sent a couple of messages saying how they love the water drop macro photography. It's very popular at the moment and we're also in lockdown, so it's a very easy subject to photograph. But a couple of messages came across where they've said that they love the water drop macro photography, but they don't have a camera to try it, but they do appreciate the videos. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can do it. Now, just like in previous videos, we're going to be setting up the scene for this. So if you've seen some of those videos, you know what to expect. But the difference here is I'm not going to be using any of my macro equipment at all. I am just going to be using my mobile phone and a clip on lens. Now there's a reason why I'm going to be using that and I will explain that in a minute. So the phone I'm using is a Huawei Mate 20 Lite. Now unfortunately this being a cheaper phone than what most of you have, I don't have a macro feature on this phone which is why I'm going to be using this clip on lens. Now this clip on lens only costs me £10 off Amazon. Link in the description if you want to have a look at any of the equipment used in this video. That's why I'm going to use that. If you have a newer phone that has a macro feature, then go ahead and use that. I'm going to try and keep things very, very basic, very, very simple, so that anyone who hasn't done macro photography has the tools in their house to be able to do this type of photography. So first of all, you just need a bowl. Now I have another clear dish here, but that's just to capture the spill if it goes over the edge of this. You can easily put down a towel or if you're messy like me just leave it and mop it up afterwards but the most essential thing is a bowl or a plate i would suggest a plate because you can use less water i don't have that at the moment plus the dish i have it in is very tall and a plate would be lower down so that's why i'm using a bowl anything will do so long as it's white it's aesthetically pleasing to me to have the white one but again play around you can have a black one if you want to it doesn't really doesn't matter so in this video, I'm going to be using the Apex or Macro Clip-On Lens. And I'm only going to be using the one lens, which is 12 times magnification. I don't think it's actually 12 times magnification, but that's what it's listed as. Now, what's important is no matter whether you're using the built-in macro function on your phone, or if you're using a clip-on lens, what you need to do is have a look at what your working distance is. So I've got my... Um, my app open here and i'm just going to bring my finger in front of my phone and you can see there i've got about a one inch working distance so we have to be prepared for that so let's bring in our bowl and our plasticine again with the plasticine you can use plasticine you can use blue tack you could use anything and all you got to do is bring up the dandelion seed to the level of the water so for me that's fairly easy with uh, plasticine modeling clay normal clay blue tack any of that will do the job just fine and unlike in the other video because we have less working distance i'm going to put the plastine at the front right there next we are going to get a dandelion seed and using my tweezers i'm going to bring that let's have a look here because i want the water to be halfway up the stem so I'm going to put it in just there. Now before you bring the water in, we need to test that we can actually get it in focus with our phone, which you can see there, we can. So that's brilliant. That is all set up. So next, let's introduce the water. This is going to be a mixture of milk and water around 50-50. So let's bring that in. Okay, so to get with the surface tension, I'm just going to rub around the back there now because we're trying to keep things simple a lot of people are not going to have syringes at home so we're going to be using uh, a lot of water drops so you can use a spray bottle like this or we can use a perfume bottle like this this gives finer uh, droplets and i do prefer that we are going to be using that you're better to have something like this around the house if not just use the uh, the bigger spray bottle i'm just going to spray gently now I'm just going to keep building up the uh, drops. And again, if you want to see this in more detail, 
then do check out some of my other videos we have it in a lot more detail in those videos this is just a video demonstration to show that you don't need an expensive camera to do this type of photography so next we need the background you can use anything a carrier bag anything that's colorful anything that's got color in that you like i'm going to use my background textures stuartwood.com if you want to get hold of these textures they are downloadable textures that you print out yourself the uh, the physical ones are not available at the moment and with being in lockdown they're not going to be available anytime soon either okay so what i'm going to do now is we have our background in place i'm now going to try and take some pictures with my phone i'm going to turn on the the light on the back of my phone to be on constantly and again, when it comes to light, play around with it because you never know what you might get. All right, let's take a picture of this now. There's that. I don't like it. Don't like this. <laughs> That's basically because this light's on. So I'm going to turn the light off now and I'm going to pull out a torch. And again, I'm not going to use any clips to hold it because people might not have those clips at home. So my phone is set up so that I can use the volume control as a shutter. So with one hand, I'm going to use to hold the light. And again, we want to light the background, not the clock. With my other hand, I'm going to frame my clock. There we go. We have some images. Let's take a look at those. Yeah, some nice images there. So again, you don't have to have an expensive camera to do this. You have a camera in your back pocket that can do the job. Now, is it going to be brilliant? Is it going to be, uh, you know, award-winning images that you can print out? Perhaps not. But at the same time, you can still have fun. Let's change the background. And what I want to do is just show you that you don't need these. I have some munchies that I have had here. So we're going to be using these as well. So let's put our jug there that will hold up our background quite nicely the wrong thing with the mobile is you will have the background more in focus than you would do with a digital slr that doesn't matter what's important is that you give it a go and have fun doing it particularly during this lockdown time let's have a look at this one a nice blue background and of course these images are going to need to be edited they need to be cropped in and edited so here are my favorite images from this photo shoot. These images have been edited in Lightroom using my macro presets. If you want to check out my macro presets, you can do. There's a link in the description, or you can go to shootwood.com and have a look at the products on there. It does help support the channel and it helps me to bring you this free content. Now, if you have access to a syringe, you can place a single water drop and you can see the results of a single water drop in this image here. And again, that is edited in Lightroom. So there we go. We've done water drop macro photography with things around your house and with your mobile phone. So again, most newer phones have a macro setting. If they don't, then you will need to get the lens. But almost everything we have used here is equipment or tools that you can find in your home already. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Let me know if you're going to give it a go. Post your results in the Macro World Facebook group. And don't forget, we also have a Discord server. My name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood, and welcome to this video. I'm ready. I don't have a macro... Um, So in this video, I'm going to be using the Apex or... Okay then, so now it's time to add a water clock. The fuck is a water clock? <laughs> because the water clocks are out. So we're going to grab ourselves a water bottle now. I'm sure you've got these at home. If you don't, your hair's going to look like mine. Hold our clock. I've called it a clock again. Stop calling it a clock. It's a seed. People are going mad at me because I keep calling them clocks, whereas they are in fact seeds. So our clock, my clock, our clock. <laughs>